Alright, just wanted to kind of do a quick video. This log right here, the, the bark's just peeling right off it. I did see a little bit of bugs in the exterior. This is a piece of poplar. And uh, just for those that, you know, worry maybe, oh, how long has is too long before my wood has an issue, uh, before it's any good. This one already has some checking issues, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about spalting and stuff like that. So this log right here, and it's not the best, it's, it's an upper log. And it's, I'm just trying to get some 2 by 10s I'm probably going to end up having to go out and take another tree down for this project. But that's okay. we got plenty of crooked ones that we wouldn't be any good to most uh, mills if we ever had it logged here. So we just usually take the ones down that, you know, the mills wouldn't really want. I'm trying to get that off of there with one hand. So, so far, you're looking down at the, um, you can see there's a little bit of spalting. See right there? Little teeny bit. But, shoot, by the time I got in there, get my feet out of the way before I crush my feet, get my finger out the way. Everything's in the way. Um, but this log got to the point where the bark, you know, is just about peeling right off of it. Soaking wet. It's been sitting there, like I said, probably almost a year. Not quite a year. So, trying to see if I can get one hand under these suckers, and uh, I want to get them on the forks, and I got to raise the forks up, because I'm using my cell phone, this is just going to be a quick video, just kind of touching on a subject that a lot of people always ask about, um, how long can you let a log sit out before it's an issue, and it will deteriorate, well this is a poplar, um, and it was a healthy tree, I'm trying to do this with one hand here. Bear with me. It was a healthy tree now, so this tree, this is an upper log of an, uh, from another, from a tree that we used on another project. So it would be considered lower grade. You see the knots and stuff in it. You see the knots and stuff. And they're not too bad. Let me start the tractor up here, because I always put my little cell phone on the rack on the tractor. Um, raise it up here. Get it high enough for you guys to sit on there. I'm probably too close. Let's back up a little bit here. I don't have a holder. I just use the front of the tractor for the cell phone. Probably good enough. So, anyways, hopefully this doesn't turn out to be too long of a video, but I just wanted to address that because several people had asked me um, what the dealio was. Here, I'm going to flint spin. Hey, there I am. Don't have my John Deere hat on. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, I usually wear different hats. If I get a sponsor or I've gone to a business, a lot of times they'll give me hats, so... I have a hat fetish. I like hats. Um, so if you got some cool hats, uh, look up my email and I'll shoot you my address. You can send me some. I love collecting hats from all over the world. And uh, I got a lot from all over the country and a couple places overseas when I was in the service. But uh, those hats, some of those, I don't know where they went. So... Anyways, I gotta roll this up one more time. I got a feeling I'm gonna lose a lot of studs out of that piece down there. Uh, let's see. I don't think it's too big. I can use my cant hook. Saves a little time from dragging the chain out and hooking it and going back and forth. I think I get it. I get up underneath it. Oh yeah. A little leverage. The stands came down. Uh, push it back. I don't know what happened there. The uprights came came down. All right, a little manhandle it here. 
I'll be lucky to get half a dozen studs out of it. But there's no sense in having a stud with this mess in it. So I just wanted to get on down to the heart of the tree. And I get what I get and I want to get good stuff. So I'm not pinching pennies on this one. Let's see. Down we go. So we're nine this way, okay, and my board, and we're ten, let's see, we're nine this way, and we're ten this way. So we want three-inch boards. So I'm going to cut this down. Let's see if the brain's working. Let's see. Yep, we're nine that way, so we need to go three inches, three-inch wide studs. And this end's rotted. So we'll see what we get out of it. Might not have been that great a log after all.
you see me shove it on the machine when I got it about right here, this looks like it's this like to me the uh, reason I didn't probably use this log is there was some damage at the top. I flip it. Woo. I just wanted to separate them. Ooh, check this out. Not really that good. I, I think these two bottom ones. Let me flip it up on the side while I'm here. While I'm here, let's see, I gotta flip it that way for you to see it. Pretty red. Pretty red. I don't think I've seen red in the in my uh, poplar before. We get purple heart uh, quite a bit on some of our trees. But uh yep, yep. And for about right here, it starts getting soft. Now I think I remember something about the end of it um, not looking that great. But this middle one here, those studs will be fine except for the very end. Uh, the top one there, the first couple feet, the first couple feet. Let me pick you up. Spin your man, you get to see. All right. So that I want to make the videos as interactive as possible so you know what the heck's going on. So, there you go. Just a little color for you. Um, that's okay wood. Like this stud down here. That one isn't going to be any good. But this, there'll be like three studs there. Top of this is split off. Um, but I think one, two... Maybe three, maybe three studs there. Um, the top, you see me shoving on the thing, the machine, because I was seeing how fast it cut through it, and that tell me how solid it was. This right here, maybe the first, maybe two studs in there. Two studs, maybe, might be uh, good. Maybe. We're about to find out. Won't be any maybes to it. So let me put you back on the track at all. And, uh, yep. Cell phone video. Sometimes my GoPro dies so freaking fast. I can make cell, cell phone videos all day long. The phone won't die. I could make an hour long video with the uh, GoPro and it's dead. So let me flip you around. Yeah, it's me again. Me in the hand. All right. Let's get this back up there every once in a while if I can get some one inch stuff out of there that I can make uh, stickers out of I will you can see how rotten that top is so they'll probably end up being more eight foot studs like I say I need I need more studs and I have trees down so It'll be fine. Um, let's just push this over tight. It should be all right. It'll just pull over and stop against it. Should be fine. I'll chop those off with a chop saw. Is overall, so go down to eight. <laughs>
to flip a bunch over so you guys can see the quality of the lumber. Some I meant to show you if I threw them over. Still pretty good and heavy. Um, you can see it on these. Another question that's asked all the time when it comes to uh, lumber after it's been sitting for a while. I'm going to spin you around. Here I am again. Alright. The number two question is if I let my logs sit for a year or so, one is, is there, is there going to be any major damage to the lumber? Um, that's if you have it sitting up on stickers or something now. You can't leave it sitting on the ground. Um, will there be any major deterioration? Well, that end issue was already an issue with the tree. Okay? But, like that down there. See how it just broke? That was a knot, I think. Let's go down there and take a peek. But I mean, the wood's solid. I think that was just a knot. I told you it was some knots in this stuff. So that's what'll happen. Now, nah, whoop! It's back to, this was just a bad spot in the in the tree. I say from about right in here, right all in here, the tree had some issues, like this one right here. Like I wouldn't use that. I'd use it to about right in here, cut that off, cut this one off here, that one, now I see that check right there, I'd cut that one off, so I'm not sure what length these will be, but I'll cut them down, I, I cut them off immediately, I won't even put it in the stack that way, because if I put it in the stack that way, well, knowing me, I'll come over and count it and go, I got this many eights, I got this many tens, and then that won't be the truth, because... These are not really tens. Now, the rest of these, let's see. That one, so that won't be a ten, but it may be like a nine or something. And then that one. But, yeah, they're all like that. So they're all going to be about probably nine feet or so. Well, actually, they'll be longer than that. Because that's eight foot from there to there. Yeah, well, only eight foot. Well, dag on. Anyways, the other question was, and I flipped them over, will the boards after sitting for a long time have less reaction in them um, if I let them sit and dry? Well, these last couple stayed pretty tight, but the, like three or four of them in here came up, and as I cut through them, they laid down. And I can tell you, I saw no less reaction in it than as if when I just cut the tree down. So, did it take a lot of reaction out sitting around on a log pile? Uh, no, not really. At least for this log, and it's poplar. Oak, other ones, we just have to test that theory if that opportunity comes up. So, I gotta clean up my slabs, get these off of here, Chop saw the bag, the bad spots off of those. Go put it in the pile of all the uh, other goodies that I cut for the new building. And, uh, yep, yep. We're going to roll on. So, Equipment Expo, Expo, Richmond, Virginia. Virginia Raceway. This weekend. Of course, telling you that won't do any good because this video is going to come out after that. But anyways, you see the video... You can expect to see videos on the Equipment Expo and all kinds of cool equipment. And I think Woodmiser is supposed to be there as well. Hopefully they have some blades. I need blades. So, that's it. Ooh, got the hand. Let's see. Got the hand. Yeah, we got the hand in there. I don't know. I, I, oh, the, <laughs> there it is. There's a little... I was like, where is the, the little uh, camera? This new phone, everything's so small. On the back, there's like freaking six cameras. <laughs> six cameras. And they can't even do 3D. Like the go, like the uh, that one that has a 3D. I got six cameras on the back of that thing. I have no idea what they all do. But apparently they all work together and do something. Maybe it can do a 360. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways... Y'all take care. It's Friday. I'm getting goofy. 
I got a long weekend. I got to go see a good friend of mine. Unfortunately, his cancer came back, and uh, it's going to be the end. Um, so prayers for the unknown friend of mine. His name's Jimmy, if you just want to do that. Um, this time the cancer's come back. He's in his 80s, and uh, he says he's just not going to fight it, so he's going to let it go. So he's a dear friend of mine. I love talking to him fellow military so uh, keep him in your prayers please um, I told him God could work miracles he helped you out the first time and you kick pancreatic cancer and it's come back somewhere else but I'm like dude if you can do that then yeah, I don't care how old you are God don't care how old you are if he wants to bless you and kill that cancer he's going to do it prayers work miracles I appreciate you guys take care till next time be blessed